hello and welcome in this video I'm gonna tell you about the basic introduction of computer here you will know about the definition of computer parts of computer its working principle and eventually you will know the important features of a computer system so let's start with the definition of computer computer is an electronic programmable device that receives data and instructions as input, processes it, generate result and displays it as output. From the definition, it is clear that our computer is an electronic device that works by receiving the data as input and giving us the output after generating the result through the processing of these in input information. Here the word programmable means our computer can be programmed to work according to our need and desire. We can give instructions to our computer in the form of programs. Similarly, let's talk about the parts of computer. In a complete computer system, there is a keyboard, mouse for giving data and instructions to our computer system. Keyboard is the primary input device of a computer system that helps to enter data in our computer whereas mouse helps to give instructions to our computer system. So that is why keyboard and mouse are considered as the input devices of a computer system. Then after we have CPU also known as the processing device of a computer system that process the data and instructions received from the input devices. After processing the results needs to be displayed which is displayed on the monitor if we want to print the output information we can use printer then after we have speaker for the audio output here monitor printer and speaker are the output devices of our computer system so these are the important parts of our computer system where we have input devices as keyboard and mouse processing device as CPU and output devices like monitor, printer and speaker. Now let me tell you about the working principle of computer. Our computer's working principle is IPO where I stands for input, P for processing and O for output. So in these three steps our computer system works. In short form it is known as IPO. Initially our computer system receives input from the input devices like keyboard and mouse. Those input informations are processed by the CPU and result is generated which is displayed as output on the monitor. It is printed on the printer and the audio output is given with the help of speaker. So this is the working principle of our computer system. Okay, now let me tell you about the features of our computer system. The features of a computer are high speed, accuracy, diligence, versatility, high storage, reliability, and automations. I'm gonna tell you about these features in brief. First of all, speed. Or we can say high speed. So high speed is the very important feature of a computer system that makes our computer very useful device actually our computer works very fast as it has high processing speed and it can process millions of instructions per second it takes just a fraction of second to complete a task that is why our computer system is very fast machine and it helps to do our task in a very few time that is why high speed is one of the good quality of our computer system another feature is accuracy accuracy means our computer system gives us correct result computer is a hundred percent accurate machine the result obtained from the computer is extremely accurate and error free Sometimes we may not get uh, the result according to our desire that is because of the wrong input and this phenomenon is also known as garbage in garbage out. For example, 
if we want to add any two numbers let's say 5 and 5 and we give instructions to our computer as 5 minus 5 then we will get the result 0 however we expected to add these numbers and get result 10 but our input is minus that is why the result is 0 that is why computer does not make mistake itself it gets 100% accurate result sometimes we may not get the desired result because of wrong input accuracy is also one of the important feature of a computer system that makes it a very useful and trustable device next feature is diligence diligence refers to the capability of a computer system to work continuously or repeatedly for a long period of time without losing speed and accuracy computer is called diligent machine because it can perform complicated and repetitive tasks very well without losing its speed accuracy and efficiency it does not suffer from tiredness and lack of concentration while working so we may feel tired after some time but our computer system can work continuously for a long period of time that makes a computer very powerful device and a useful device too feature is versatility actually our computer system can work in different fields that is why computer is the versatile machine computer is one of the versatile machine because it can be used in wide range of applications in different fields such as education entertainment business communication agriculture research and so on so the capability of working the computer in different fields make it a versatile device is the storage our computer system has the high storage capacity it can store the data in its computer memory for a long period of time so that we can access it whenever we require computer has the high storage capacity as it can store huge amount of electronic data permanently these data are stored in the secondary storage device of a computer system like hard disk and the next feature is reliability actually our computer system can perform tasks with uh, great speed and 100% efficiency so we can trust our computer system for doing any kind of task computer is a reliable machine that is capable of performing all tasks at the high speed we can fully depend upon it for any kinds of operation as the results of computer are very accurate and that makes a computer a reliable device and the last one is the automation automation is the use of technology to complete a task with little or no human interactions and our computer system is capable of doing tasks automatically because it requires very less commands or very less interactions of the user to do the task automatically we just need to give instructions with few clicks and rest of the work can be done by our computer system automatically so automation is one of the good quality of our computer system that makes it a very useful an important device okay uh, this much for now I hope you have understood the topics if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section I'll be back with another video till then bye bye thank you